We are here again in uh, a Global Entrepreneurship Summit, and with me is Mr. Bell from Angels Den. Hi, Mr. Bell. How are you? Hi, Abdullah. No, I'm great, thank you. I'm just loving it here. Nice. It's a really, really good vibe, isn't it? Yeah. It's really great. So, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what is Angels Den? Sure. I'm, I'm a chief executive and um, founder of um, Angels Den. Angels Den is Europe and Asia's largest angel network. So that's a, a, a network that. Um, invests into um, startups, entrepreneurs, takes an equity funding, gives them, say, $100,000, takes, say, an 18% stake in the company sort of thing. And what we do is facilitate um, between the business angel who has the money and the entrepreneur. So um, at the moment, we have 5,800 angels across the world. And um, we throw that together with 19,000 um, entrepreneurs um, who are looking for funding. Nice. So how did the idea came up to you guys with the Angels Den idea? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, it, it, it came about because um, we, we, we spotted a, a niche in the market. We are, um, um, I, I was very lucky. I, I, I made some money. People kept on coming to me asking me for money. And they didn't know I was Scottish, so I'm not going to invest, obviously. Um, but I then set about trying to find money for this project, other people's money. And in so doing, I met people who pretended they had money. I met people who pretended they knew people who had money. I met people who pretended they could help me write my business plan or pretended they could get me investment ready. And at the end of six and a half months, I walked away with nothing, nothing. And I thought to myself, I'm an accountant, I'm an investment banker, and I'm Scottish. I'm getting ripped off. What is it like for the likes of these people here at um, a Global Entrepreneurship um, Summit? who really just want to get on and run their company and want a transparent method of finding funding. Because the dirty little secret is there's, there's more money out there than, than we could ever, ever possibly need. But it just needs a focal point, someone to actually find um, the, um, and the entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs need to be able to better express what it is that they do because entrepreneurs are very bad at distilling down what they do. And business angels are, find it very difficult to find them. Well, you know, some people think about it like similar to Dragon's Den, the BBC show, uh, BBC TV show. Is it uh, similar to this or did it inspire you some way or another? Yeah, it, it, it inspired me um, to do it um, completely the opposite way. Um, because whilst that show is um, spine-tinglingly good television, um, it's, um, uh, in fact, it's very far from the truth. And I think um, our research shows that, in particular, women entrepreneurs get put off because they think it's going to have, they're going to be fierce, they're going to ask them horrible questions, they're going to make them cry live on television, where, in fact, a business angel is looking for a partnership. He's wanting someone to give the right answers, not the wrong answers. There's no trick questions. Th these guys are are really keen to invest because they need a better return than the banks are currently giving them in the marketplace at the moment. So if you happen to have um, a, a million dirhams um, sitting in the bank, first and foremost, you know, you're kind of lucky. But actually, you're also losing money every year given inflation. And whilst the angels are many things, are not stupid. So they are looking for things to invest in. They're desperately looking for, um, um, for things to invest into every day. Nice. So so how does it work? Like I have a startup right now. It's called Fish Fish Me, by the way. <laughs> so I am like in the early stage. How can angels then help me? And what should I do to apply or whatever? Sure. Um, well, we have um, um, our staff in the WAF is um, here in the background somewhere. Um, I'm sitting in Dubai. We also have people in um, Kuwait and Abu Dhabi and Qatar. Um, the first step is to go and meet them. And they'll talk to you in plain language. It's not intimidating. They'll tell you what's needed, what's not needed, how to do it, how actually not to pitch. If you're chosen, then we train you how to pitch. And by the way, great plug for your company. That was good. What was it called again? Fish, fish, me. Fish, fish, me. Let's just, let's just get that in again. <laughs> fish, fish, me. Um, yeah, so you're you have to train, be trained, yeah. find out how to actually do the pitching. And then we have an event. And um, the events vary across the world. But really, the essence of how we do it is that we get, um, say, um, eight people together. There'll be eight tables. Behind the table will be one, two, three um, business angels. And you then have um, four, five, six, seven minutes to pitch your business. You get up, move to the next table of one, two, three angels. 
the whole event is over in less than an hour, but the whole point is that the guys get to see whether or not you can distill it down, whether or not you're passionate. But really what they're about isn't necessarily to see about your business or your business model, it's about you. And some people say, you know, there's no way I can distill my business down to five, six, seven minutes. The point is that most people have probably made their minds up about whether or not they want to hang out with you in the first couple of minutes. And actually that's the almost the dirty little secret of equity, uh, uh, equity funding. Now, you know, then people go and talk for hours and days um, after, but it's great for the, um, um, the business angels because we spend um, a, a lot of time. So we currently have to meet 14.1 people to find one person who's good enough to pitch. So we have a, a huge filter. Um, we're seeing something like 150 business plans every day and from the 150 um, um, across the world, we might take 10 of those on, maybe. So, yeah, that was my next question, actually, getting into numbers. Like, how many people apply for each office, or like, how many offices do you have right now? And how many business plans, like, people are applying? And how much money you raise for them? And this kind of numbers mm. you can share with us. No, no, sure. Um, so, um, I'm here, here we are um, um, today in, in Dubai. And Dubai, I would say, we're getting sort of um, um, five or six business plans every day. And sort of thing, but the really sad thing is that often those are not good enough yet to pitch. So they they won't have the great the growth possibilities. Um, the people won't be able to um, explain what they do. We find that a lot in Dubai. People mumble. They haven't got the right body language. Um, they just can't um, they can't move outside it. Um, geeks, especially techie geeks, so so bad at explaining to a normal human being exactly what it is that they're trying to do. And it's like a verse from the Quran itself that slaps them in the face. You go, well, what's somebody, ha I have to be able to explain myself before they're going to invest? Well, yes, yes, you do. And that, that is the biggest, biggest problem. That's the biggest hurdle. Our average deal size, and I'm sorry, I, I, um, what is it? It's, um, it's 203,000 pounds is the average. The average number of like money you raise per around yeah and and then of the eight people pitching so we're running nine events across the planet and we are currently funding 3.6 out of the eight so it's you know, it's a very high hit rate in terms of um, um, of people that are pitching but remember remember that we've rejected a very large number of people to actually get to that stage but really all you're caring about you know um, is, is getting into the pitching event yeah exactly so let's take for example London office how many deals do you get? How many times do you do the event? And like, what is the successful rate for an entrepreneur like to apply and get our funding? Sure. So um, in terms of people who um, actually get funded, we're funding roughly two to three percent of people who apply to us. And the major reason for that is that we have a very high filtration rate. So we're getting something near 150 business plans every day. Of those, um, we can reject 120 of them because they just won't stand up. They'll be, you know, I've come up with a new Facebook or something that's um, 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 just something so stupid, um, a, a chocolate giraffe um, or, 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 you know, something, something along those sorts of lines. Um, so we, we, we throw those out and then we'll actually meet, say, in London in the British Library. We meet 20 people a week and of the 20 people a week, we might take two of those on. Um, and the biggest problem, as I say, is people actually being able to verbalize what it is that they do. Then there's not a business model or they haven't got um, um, their intellectual property um, um, actually um, protected. They haven't got a unique selling point. Um, there'll, be, there'll be something that just lets them fall by the wayside. But the beautiful thing about what we do is that it's not just about funding. And I think here, especially in the region, as we expand across the region, it's, it's, it's more about, um, there's so much money here. There is you know, no shortage of money. There's no shortage of money anywhere in the world. But there are now, um, I've been to th um, three countries in the last two weeks in, in the region where there are huge pots of money, but there's not enough entrepreneurs. There's nowhere near the quality of entrepreneurs that you need to invest into. And so it's actually getting those people right at grassroots, training them about um, what it is to be an entrepreneur, talking to um, school kids, actually getting them at that sort of level, at university sort of level, and then training them, training them, training them. But our unique perspective on it is that we also train the business angels. Yeah. 
because especially here in the region, and there are lots of people with lots of money, but what we find is that the more money you have, the worse angel you are. <laughs> and um, I have twice, um, um, a, a fantastic story, um, um, where I, I introduced um, a, a young lady to a, uh, 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 somebody who was an angel, and um, she said, oh, hi, great to meet you. And the, he was going, oh, hello, um, tell me what's your name. She's going, it, it, it's me. She's going, you invested $100,000 in my business last year. He's going, oh, no idea that he invested. <laughs> and, and, and in a sense, it's like it's good because she's got $100,000. But the whole beautiful thing about angel funding is that angels give you the money, but more importantly, they give you the mentorship, they give you um, the support, so they give you their contacts, a little black book of contacts, and it's that sort of thing that exactly. really moves through. Which we call it smart money. Uh, my last question is going to be is like, if I am now an entrepreneur in the Arab region, what should I do to apply for angels then? Yeah, um, well, look it up on the website. It's, um, uh, it's um, 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 www.angelsden.com. That's um, we're wacky guys like that. Um, and um, you'll see um, um, the WAF in, in, in Dubai and our, our offices across the region. Um, we really try to make it as simple as possible for entrepreneurs because we know that most entrepreneurs are attention deficit. Um, the last thing they're going to want to do is fill in a 64-page business plan. Yeah. The last thing a business angel is going to do is read it. So it's like really simple exactly. questions. Exactly. We get you in there and get it done. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Bill, for your time and good, and good luck. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Bye-bye.